Hey guys, Jafar here. This video will cover the loop map, utilities, features, and puzzle for the water treatment plant. Let's have a look at the loot crate spawns throughout the water treatment plant, with six crates found within the central puzzle building, six crates found within the three-story metal shed with the garage doors, five crates found on the sewer silo, two crates on top of the large tower, two crates found underground, and other crates being found on top of or within the treatment discs. To obtain the loot at the top of the sewer silo, you must complete a set of parkour jumps. Be careful of the part of the jump which contains a piece of metal sticking out the side of the silo. This is the loot I have received after one run of the water treatment plant without and with looting the puzzle rooms. The loot you can get will widely vary depending on if the crates have been looted and the spawn chances of each item. In total, 25 basic or military crates can be found within the water treatment plant, with the additional medical and food crates not counting. For utilities, the water treatment plant contains a recycler within the long-standing red metal shed, two oil refineries with one being found underground, while the other at a blocked off tunnel entrance, two repair benches within the long-standing red metal shed and three-story metal shed, and a pump jack at the edges of the monument. An overview of all the utilities can be seen here. The water treatment plant contains a mild amount of radiation in key areas such as the sewers, large water tower, rubbish piles on the ground and office room within the puzzle building. A hazmat suit will be required to mitigate the radiation of these specific areas while most of the site can be entered with no clothing. Additionally, a long underground tunnel system can be found which can contain crates and be used to safely traverse the site. The water treatment puzzle will require one blue card and one electric fuse. To complete the puzzle, you must first locate the fuse box within the three-story metal shed and place your electric fuse within it, followed by starting the timer. Once activated, run to the long red metal building and locate the smaller shed to the side of it. Run up the stairs and use your blue key card to enter. For the puzzle loot, you can expect to find six crates and a red keycard located on the desk. You can also find within the puzzle loot room a switch which will provide the power to the puzzle door button, allowing you to open it back up to leave. A minicopter can also be used to bypass the keycard puzzle, and it can be achieved with only one person. You should first know that there is an invisible wall on the puzzle roof to stop people from easily landing up there and walking straight down onto the balcony, but it can still be done. Begin by flying over the balcony in such a way that allows you to get up on it while letting your minicopter fall back down. Make sure it has enough health before attempting this to avoid it blowing up. Now you can open the door to the balcony and grab all the puzzle loot and later jump back down from the balcony to get back into your minicopter. An additional green puzzle door can be found at the original building with the electric fuse. This door will always be powered and should only be used if you don't have time to stand still to open the garage doors. The water treatment plant is a highly contested location due to a lack of radiation in most areas and easily accessible crates. Make sure to bring adequate protection such as a hazmat suit to reach the loot which was most likely untouched and a weapon to defend yourself. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.